Welcome to GDs, and this is, Snowfall, Season 4. Season starts, with Franklin. Getting back in the game. Louis, has been holding the reins while he was gone, and she shows him the day-to-day -day of the business. She lets him know, that the gang war between Scully, and Man Boy, has been hurting their business, and putting a lot of eyes on them. Franklin, in order to stop the war, tries to talk to Scully, as well as Man Boy, in order to come to an understanding, but both of them are not willing to back down. Scully, even hangs one of Man Boy's man, on a cross. Franklin, knowing that he needs to get things settled, asks for Teddy's help. But he lets him know, that he cannot do anything about the gang war. Though he suggests to him, that the only way for him to end it, is by supporting one side, and getting rid of the other. Franklin, knowing this to be the right play, discusses the same with Jerome and Louis, and they decide to back Man Boy. Franklin, also goes to Leon, and we learn, that things between Louis and Leon, were not smooth, as Leon didn't like taking orders from her. Franklin, wants him to come back in the fold, but Leon lets him know, that he is happy running the projects. Louis, has also renovated the club, and she invites everyone for its reopening. Alton and Sissy, decided not to go. At the party, Franklin reconnects with Tanas, aka T, his ex-girlfriend from high school. While Leon, being there and seeing Gustavo, is quite angry with him, as he holds him responsible for Kevin's death. Franklin, is able to calm him down. But this leads to an argument between them. As a result, they end their partnership. Later, Franklin goes to end the war, as they set up Scully for an ambush. But things don't go as planned, as one of Manboy's men, jumped the gun. Franklin, Jerome, and Rob, are able to get away, but Peaches gets injured in the shootout. Not knowing if Scully made it out, Franklin wants his parents to move out of the house for a few days, but they refuse. Franklin, knowing T, to have connections in Inglewood, asks her to find out, if Scully is still alive. Manboy, assures them, that he took out Scully himself, but T, lets them know, that Scully got hit, but he is still alive. Franklin, knowing this, warns Leon, as Scully might also come after them. Teddy, is having problems of his own. As during one of their runs, they are caught by the Tijuana police, despite them having a deal with their police chief. Teddy later finds, that chief has been replaced, and the new chief, Oscar Fuentes, is not happy with the old deal, and wants to renegotiate. Though he lets them leave for now. We also see Gustavo, being happy with his brother's family. Hernan, lets them know, that the police chief, only stopped them to find out, how much product they are moving. In addition, Teddy also learns, that the weapons have not reached their destination. Thus he goes to Avi, to inquire about the same. Avi, lets him know, that he doesn't know anything about it, but assures him that he will find out. Teddy, along with Gustavo and Hernan, go to the chief Fuentes, and offer him 10k, but the chief knowing how much they have been moving wants 100k. Teddy, agrees to pay 50k for now. He lets Gustavo know, that he will get things worked out, by going over his head. We also get to see a reporter, Irene Abe, as she is looking into the suicide of Andre. She is able to track down Melody, as she moved in with her aunt. Melody, tells her, that her father didn't commit suicide, but was indeed murdered by Franklin Saint. Irene, intrigued by her claims, looks into Franklin. She is able to find, that her mother lost her job, and they were about to lose their house, when suddenly, all their mortgage was paid off. And now they are buying real estate, with funds from a company whose accounts are offshore. She also learns, that his father Alton, used to be a member of the Panthers, and is now running a homeless shelter. While Franklin, knowing Scully to be alive, knows, that he needs to take care of him. He asks Nix, if he can do the job, as it will not only be a good drug bust for him, he will also pay him extra for the same. As Inglewood was out of Nick's territory, he goes to see the place with the cops of the area. They let him know, that the pain of going after them, was not worth their effort. Nix, thinking that Franklin might have tried to set him up, goes to the homeless shelter, and threatens Alton. Irene, being there, in order to have a talk with Alton, is able to push back Nix. Alton, agrees to talk with Irene, but only about the homeless shelter. Franklin, getting to know what Nix did, is quite angry. But his mother is able to calm him down. She lets him know, that they have to come at it from another angle. She informs him that Paul Davis, a realtor who has been outbidding them on the properties, has a lot of connections, 
and they should try to connect with him. Thus they decide to donate in one of his fundraisers. Paul Davis, after receiving the donation, meets with Sissy, and we learn, that he is indeed a connected man, having the ear of the police commissioner, the mayor, as well as the city council. He is also a big-time realtor, whose projects are never stopped. Sissy, lets him know, that she wants to invest with him, in his future projects. While Franklin, warns Nix, and lets him know, that he should stay away from his family. He also goes to the library, where he used to study, and that being the only property, not being sold on their block, is able to convince them, to transfer it to him, and assures them, that they will never have to move out from there. Alton, learning what they are about to do, is not happy with their decision. It is when Nix shows up, and he arrests Sissy. But in reality, it was not a genuine arrest, but only his way of threatening them. Franklin and Sissy, give Paul the papers of the only shop which was holding out on him. While Paul, assures them, that their cop problem will be taken care of. And we see Nix, being demoted, and taken off the streets by the captain. Who also lets him know, that if he makes any noise about it, he will lose his job. Meanwhile, as Gustavo returns home, he finds Hernan and his wife murdered, with a message, asking them for 100k. Gustavo is furious, and he lets Teddy know that he is going after Fuentes. But before he could storm the police station, he is knocked out. Teddy, cuts him loose, and lets him know that he will help him get Fuentes, and they will be helped by Mexican intelligence. Teddy, comes clean to him, and lets him know that he is not a drug dealer, but a CIA agent. Gustavo, not willing to wait for support from the Mexicans, is able to spook Fuentes and his men, making them head towards their hideout. Gustavo and Teddy, go into his hideout, and they take everyone out. Gustavo, takes Hernan's kids, to his wife's sister, Ziamara. The kids love Gustavo, and they spend time together. Gustavo, now knowing that Teddy is in the CIA, tells him, that moving forward, he would like to be paid $1,000 per kilo of product they move, as he now has to take care of Hernan's family, and Teddy agrees. Meanwhile Irene, following up on the story, gets a visit from the detective, who arrested Franklin. He tells Irene about Andre, and the complaints against him. He also lets her know, on how Franklin was able to beat a murder charge. Irene, tells him that Franklin's records, never came up in her search. But the detective doesn't believe her. He later gets back to Irene, and tells her, that he was also not able to find anything on Franklin's arrest. But he gives her a lead, telling her, to find Tony, the handler of the undercover DEA agent, who recanted her statement, which resulted in Franklin going free. Irene, after searching for Tony, finally gets to meet him, as he breaks into her house. He tells Irene, that Franklin is not the story, but the bigger story is, how the CIA is bringing in coke, in their own country. He gives her everything he had, and tells her, that he feels Lorena was also killed, but he doesn't agree to go on the record. Irene, having the information goes to his editor, and asks him, to provide her with more resources. But they are not willing to provide her any, as it's just a story with no collaboration. Irene, in order to get collaboration, meets with the Colombian brothers, and they confirm the same. Having collaboration on the story, she is able to get the resources, to investigate further. But they let her know, that unless she gets someone to go on the record, they will not run the story. Meanwhile Scully, seeking revenge, goes after Leon, but Wanda warns him in time. Though in the process, she is hit. Franklin, getting to know this, goes to him, and lets him know, that they should work together. But Leon sends him away. He later hires a private investigator, to know about Scully's movement. In addition, he makes Wanda stay in the hospital, till she cleans up. He later gets to know from the investigator, that Scully, only visited his grandma more than once, and he is the most vulnerable there. Leon, waits for him near his grandmom's house, and they get into a gun battle with Scully's men. Leon, shoots at the car, not knowing that Scully was not in it. Instead, he ends up killing his daughter. Knowing he killed a child, he knows he is in trouble, and thus spends the night at Alton's shelter. Franklin finds him, and shifts him to a safe house. Man boy, losing his niece, connects with his sister and Scully, and they quash their beef, as now they have a mutual enemy. Man boy goes to Franklin, and asks him, to hand over Leon. He also tells him, that till Leon is free, Crompton, as well as Inglewood, won't buy from him. He also assures her sister, that he will deal with Franklin. But for now, he is waiting to find out his connect, so that he can buy directly from him. Louis and Jerome, 
are willing to give up Leon, but Franklin is against the idea. Sissy, fears for Franklin, not knowing how he will be able to move away, and she wants Franklin to give her a time frame. Franklin, meets with Teddy, in order to know if he has an end date in sight. Teddy tells him, he cannot give him a date as of now, but assures him, he will give him a heads up. Franklin, wanting to decrease the time frame, knows, that he needs more inflow of money. Thus he decides to expand to other cities. But with major cities already being in the hold of some or the other gang, Louis suggests, to start expanding to small towns. Franklin likes the idea. And Louis and Jerome, go to Little Rock, where Louis, connects with her childhood friend, and they get them started with the business. Jerome, being tired, wants to get out of the business. It is when Louis tells him, that they cannot just walk away, as Teddy is in the CIA. Teddy, gets to know from his father, that his brother is no more, and he blames him for that. He also gets a visit from Habemeyer, who lets him know, that the Mexican intelligence, is not happy with all the mess they have made in Mexico. In addition, with the weapons not reaching the Contras in time, they are being pushed back. Teddy assures him, that he will get things in order. He goes to Avi, and learns from him, that the weapons never left their origin. As the Hezbollah is saying, that they never received the payment, while the banks are confirming, that they transferred the same. Teddy, instead of dealing with his brother's loss, decided to go to Panama with Avi, to sort out the issue with the bank. Meanwhile, we see Franklin, getting close to T. We also see him being harassed by the cops, as they look for Leon. Franklin wants Leon, to help him convince Fatback, to take the fall for the shooting, and surrender himself. Though Leon is not happy, he agrees to do so. They assure Fatback, that they will hire the best lawyers to protect him, and will take care of him, as well as his family. Fatback surrenders, and Franklin's lawyers are able to secure a bail for him. But before they could deposit the bail, someone deposits it, and they pick him up. And it turns out, that it was Scully's wife, Khadija. Khadija, not trusting his brother and husband, took matters into her own hands, to avenge her daughter's death. She kills Fatback, and puts out a bounty on Leon's head. In addition, she also hires two freelancers, Dallas and Black Diamond, to help her take revenge. The rest of them, finding about Fatback are quite upset, but Franklin lets them know, that this solves their problems, as the police are no longer looking for a child killer. Leon, also joins them back, and with some assistance from Jerome, they are able to bring in new people, including Fatback's cousin, Big Dion. Wanda, also gets clean, and she starts trying to get back on her feet. While Alton, seeing Sissy get in business with Paul Davis, his son, getting more violent, and the havoc the drugs are causing on his people, is quite disheartened. Irene, figuring out, that Alton might be the weak link in the family, goes to him. She lets him know, that she knows everything about his son, and how he earns his drug money. Irene wants him, to go on the record for her, as she is more willing to go after the government, as they are the ones bringing in the drugs. But if he doesn't go on the record, she has no issues in outing her son as the drug dealer. Irene, tells him, that going on the record, is the only way for him, to protect his family. Alton, seeing the destruction the rock is causing in the community, and knowing how deeply his son is involved, asks Sissy to run away with him. He lets her know, that he got fake documents ready for them, and they can leave any time. But Sissy, is not willing to abandon her son again. She tells Alton, that they will get out in a few years. But Alton doesn't believe her, and in order to protect them, he agrees to go on the record for Irene's story, provided she protects his son. He later tells Franklin, what he has done. Franklin, is upset and angry with him, knowing, that he has jeopardized things for him. They get into an argument, and Franklin, in a moment of rage, hits him. He lets his father know, that they have nothing left between them now. Irene publishes the first article, without disclosing the name of anyone, she gives out details, on how the CIA is bringing drugs into the United States. As she prepares for the follow-on article, the paper doesn't want her to give out the identity of the CIA asset, as it might jeopardize national security. Franklin, reading the article, calls her, and wants to meet her. In the meeting, he threatens her, letting her know, that she needs to think about the safety of her daughter, as well as her ex-husband. Later, Franklin, Leon, Jerome and Louis go to attend Fatback's funeral, despite knowing the risks. Khadija, along with Dallas and Black Diamond, attack them. And in the drive-by, Louis gets hit. Jerome, is quite angry, and wants to get back at them. 
Man boy, learning this, knows, that they will now be coming after him. It is when we learn, that T, has been working for him. Man boy gives her two days to figure out Franklin's connect for the drugs. Meanwhile Teddy, being in Panama, learns, that one of the bank employee, fraudulently showed that the payment was transferred. And since they have now figured it out, they have returned all the money to him. Teddy, being paranoid, goes after the employee, who did the transaction, despite Avi trying to stop him. But he gets no information from him, and has to get away, as the authorities reach his home. Teddy, having the money, goes to Nicaragua to meet his contact, but he finds out, that they were attacked, and a lot of them lost their life. As he returns back, Havemeyer, was waiting for him, Teddy tells him, that things in Nicaragua are bad. While he gets to know from him, about the article which was published. The government, was able to push back at the newspaper, by making sure, that no follow-on articles are written. Irene, knowing this, is upset, as well as afraid. While Teddy, meets with Franklin, and wants him to get his house in order. He lets him know, that he can trust no one. He also assures him, that he need not worry about Irene, as he will take care of her. Franklin, learns from T, that she might be able to get Man Boy to convince Khadija, to back down, but in exchange, he will want Franklin to give up his source. Franklin agrees, and asks her to make the call. As she goes back and makes the call, Franklin, not trusting her, was already there, and he learns that she has been playing him. T tells him, that it started like that at first, but after getting close to him, she wanted to stop. It is when Man Boy started threatening her brother, thereby giving her no choice. Franklin, lets her know, that she has broken his trust, and there is no way back for her. Jerome seeing Louis, wants to gun down everybody. Franklin, knowing that Man Boy will be waiting for him, is able to stop him. He tells him, that he has a better plan. He asks T, to set up a meeting with Man Boy, and let him know, that Franklin is ready to take him to his connect. Man Boy, knowing that the meeting that T has set will be a trap, comes to her house instead. But Franklin, anticipated on how Man Boy will think, was waiting for him there, and they take care of him, as well as his crew. He gives the gun to T, and asks her to cover it up, and ends his relationship with her. Louis wakes up, and getting to know everything, she suggests, that they should pay Dallas and Black Diamond, and get them to their side. Wanda helps them with that, by getting Dallas and Black Diamond to them. Franklin, offers them money to work for him full time, rather than from going one job to another, but he wants them to set up Khadija. Dallas and Black Diamond agree to work for him. They set up Khadija, and are able to bring her to them, Leon, tries to reason with her, but Jerome not interested, shoots her. Meanwhile Irene, feeling cornered, goes on the radio, to talk about her story. She tells everyone, that she has the alias, as well as the real identity of the CIA agent, who is responsible for bringing in the drugs, and she wants things to change, and heads to roll, or else she will expose him. Irene's accusation, causes the CIA, to push Teddy out of the agency, and he is removed from the operation in LA. Before leaving, he tells Gustavo, that he shouldn't trust anyone. He goes to Avi, who lifts him up, by telling him, that a man with his connections, can do a lot by being independent. Teddy, goes to talk with Irene, and tells her, that he was let go by the CIA. But he won't let them screw him, and will expose them. He sits down with her, and tells her everything. But in reality, as they talked, he spiked her drink. Later, being drugged, Irene, crashes her car, and Teddy finishes her off, thereby making it look like an accident. Alton, comes to comfort Sissy at the hospital, but Franklin doesn't want him there, and sends him away. In the morning, as they learn, that Irene is dead, Sissy tells Franklin, that his father won't back down now. As Franklin looks for his father, he finds out, that his father went on the radio, and he outs Reed Thompson as a CIA asset. In addition, he threatens to release his photo, as well as his real name. Teddy is furious, and wants Franklin to find his father. Franklin, looking for his father, is able to find him in their house. Alton, wants Franklin to set up a meeting with Teddy, as he plans to take him out, in order to keep him safe. As they talk, they are attacked by Scully, who came there seeking revenge, but they survive, and in the process, Scully is shot. Franklin, knowing that killing Teddy, will only make matters worse, asks Alton to leave LA. But Alton, is not willing to back down, he knocks Franklin unconscious, before leaving. Sissy, collects the fake documents which Alton got for them, and reaches home. Franklin waking up, 
tells her what his father is thinking of doing. He is able to get in touch with Teddy, and he lets him know the location, where he will be meeting his father. On the other hand, an injured Scully, goes after Louis in the hospital. But Louis is able to talk him down, and Jerome takes the gun from him. While Franklin and Sissy, are able to reach Alton and Teddy. Teddy, wants Franklin to take care of his father, but he is not going to do so. As Teddy, raises his weapon, Franklin urges him to stop, telling him, that if he goes ahead, he will have to kill them all. Sissy, is able to defuse the situation, by getting in the middle, and telling Teddy, that they will leave the country forever, and she convinces Alton for the same. Teddy, also agrees for it, but wants them to leave immediately. Sissy, bids farewell to his son, as she leaves with Alton. With Sissy and Alton gone, Teddy tells Franklin, that he will also be leaving for some time, but he need not worry, as the business will continue, and someone will be replacing him. While Gustavo, is provided the whereabout of Lucia, as he requested. Franklin, meets with Louis as she returns back. But Louis and Jerome, tell him, that moving forward, they would like to be independent, and they will buy the products from him. But will run the business their way. Franklin goes to Leon, and Leon advises him, that he should let Jerome and Louis do, what they feel. In addition, he tells Franklin, that he also wants to quit. Franklin tells him, that he protected him from everyone, despite being told to give him up, and now he wants him to keep doing what he was doing. In addition, he will eventually get Jerome and Louis, also back in the family. While Sissy and Alton, are seen spending quality time with each other, in Cuba. Franklin also goes to Melody. And he warns her, and tells her, that he let her go despite being shot, but she talked about his business, and he can't have that, and this is her last chance. Melody asks Franklin, to acknowledge, that he killed his father before leaving, but Franklin says nothing. As the season ends, we see Teddy, standing behind Alton with a gun, in Cuba. While Franklin, thanks for watching. And if you liked it, please subscribe.